This is the Fan Fiction Multiverse podcast for February 2018. I am Mike the Zorch, and in this episode, there's a lot to talk about, so let's get started. First, I need to address the lack of story updates last month. As you know, I make videos for two YouTube channels, my own and Gamers Bay. YouTube is changing the rules for their partner program. I urge you to check out the latest episode of ChloeCast for more information on them. Needless to say, I haven't had as much time to work on stories lately. I'm starting my first new blog in more than 10 years for the site Steemit that pays you for your work in cryptocurrency. I'm writing a top 10 list of Atari arcade games with research into how they were made. All of these games were covered by the video series in Old Gamer Plays, which I did on the Gamers Bay channel. This article is consuming a lot of my time, plus my ADD kicks in a lot too. Writing articles for publication is harder for, than writing stories. For me, stories are already in my head, but this blog requires me to do a lot of research. So I can't give you a ballpark figure on when the next story update will be out, but I will do my best to release something this month. The situation is temporary. Things will calm down by mid-March or April, and I'll be back to releasing chapters on a more timely basis. That is until the next crisis hits. Now on to the fanfiction news. I've already started the next chapter of Beneath the Crimson Sky 2, but haven't yet started chapter 2 of The Promise. As stated before, I can't tell you when I will have these done, but I will do my best to have something released this month. To recap for those new to the podcast, Beneath the Crimson Sky is a Ranma Half fanfic set in a mostly original alternate universe to series canon. Ranma is a vampire and a member of the secret order of the Crimson Circle. Vampires who use their powers to protect humanity from threats to their survival, both mundane and supernatural. The story is in its second book in what will be a three-book trilogy. There is also a spin-off called The Promise. The first chapter has already been published. The Promise is set several years before the start of Beneath the Crimson Sky, and tells the backstory of two new characters named Baron and Arya. These characters will play an important role in the second half of Book 2 and in Book 3. Chapter 5 of Book 2 sees the start of the Dracula arc and also finally marks Ryuga's arrival in Narima. February is supposed to be the month that Nindo the Force 2 gets an update. With everything happening, it is difficult to say whether that update will be delayed or not. Nindo the Force is a Naruto Star Wars crossover that will comprise seven books that takes place before and during the Clone Wars. Book 1 is already done, and Chapter 5 of Book 2 will be coming in the near future, which takes place during the events of The Phantom Menace. For anyone new or unfamiliar with this story, Naruto and Jiraiya accidentally activate an ancient ship which whisks them away to Tatooine. Stranded on a strange world far from home and no way to get back, the two meet Shmi Skywalker and her son Anakin. Seeing the plight of the slaves, Naruto and Jiraiya conceive a plan to help them, thus setting into motion a series of events that will profoundly shape galactic history. The story parallels the Clone Wars and imagines Jutsus as force magic. What the people of Naruto's world call chakras is actually the force. The dark side magic of the Night Sisters of Dathomir were the main inspiration for this idea. In Chapter 4, Naruto, Jiraiya, and Qui-Gon Jinn had their first encounter with the Sith Apprentice Darth Maul on Tatooine. Now in Chapter 5, Naruto and Anakin travels with the Jedi to Coruscant, where Queen Amidala will plead her case for Naboo in front of the Senate. Meanwhile, the Jedi Council will consider a request from Jiraiya as to how to help Naruto. 
For some time, I've been planning a spin-off for this series. A rough draft is already in the works, and I will be posting it soon to the Jim Bader group. The story will be called Outer Rim Redemption, a Ron Mahaff Star Wars crossover set before the founding of the Republic, just after the end of the Sith Jedi War, more than a thousand years before the Clone Wars. The story is set in the same universe as Nindo the Force. The story, which is intended to be a one-off much like The Promise, follows an older Ranma who travels the Outer Rim as a bounty hunter while being haunted by memories of his former life as a Sith apprentice. How he came to be involved with the Sith is a major spoiler, so I won't reveal that yet until the first chapter has been published on fanfiction.net. What I can tell you is that one of the Ranma half characters will be in the story later on, and they will also be just as emotionally damaged, but will not have been a Sith. This will be a very dark and emotional story, so look for the first chapter sometime in April. Ron the Half fanfic Something Hentai This Way Comes, beginning a reboot, and the Naruto story WTF will finally be getting a second chapter in the next few months. The premise of Something Hentai This Way Comes is changing rather dramatically. No spoilers, this is going to be a big change in New Direction. Massive departure from my original concept. Story will be very pervy. You've been warned, but it will stay within the limits of what fanfiction.net allows. Barely. WTF will be a spin off, and since it only has one chapter, it won't need a rewrite. And it will be just as pervy. These definitely will not be for the easily offended and definitely not if you're an SJW. Now it's time to talk about new projects I have planned for the distant future. These are stories I will work on after the current batch of fanfictions are finished. The first is an idea that is the most fleshed out and has been discussed on the Jim Bader Yahoo group rather frequently. The story does not yet have a name, but is based on Ron Mahaff and is a crossover with the current animated Justice League DC continuity. Ron becomes a masked vigilante after an escalating turf war between two rival Yakuza clans and becomes a serious threat to the people he cares for. In my current notes, his superhero name is the Dragon, but this may change when I start writing the story. If you have any suggestions on a, a better name for Ranma's superhero persona, please leave them in the comments below. Finally, I'm ready to talk about one other story that's been discussed on the Jim Bader group a lot. This is an isekai, or in another world genre story, using Ranma half character. Isekai stories have recently gotten a reputation for being power fantasies, a lot like SAO, but this story concept strays far from that trope. Ranma gets caught up in a post-apocalyptic world where former organized crime syndicates and gangs are now the de facto government and have a feudal inspired power structure. This is a world where death on the streets is an everyday thing, and selling your body is considered honorable. It is a brutal survival of the fittest and richest kind of world. Banma, a person that has some principles, is thrust into this world, and he has some pretty severe culture shock. He learns that if you fight against this world and its system, it will eat you alive. But the story follows how he slowly learns to fight against the system from within and using its own rules. If you have any thoughts or suggestions, please share them in the comments below. I have Story Lord episodes planned for the future and that will explain these ideas in much greater detail. Well, that's it for this episode of Fanfiction Multiverse. 
to recap Chapter 5 of Beneath the Crimson Sky 2 and Chapter 2 of The Promise will be published late. Chapter 5 of Nindo of the Force Book 2 will arrive when time permits and Outer Rim Redemption will not be released until at least April. I've been Mike DeZorch, thanks for listening, and I'll see you all in the next month's episode. Until then, keep reading, keep writing, keep your imaginations alive. I'll see you next time. Gamers Bay is one of the oldest and friendliest communities on Google+. If you want a troll-free, family-friendly, video game-centric social media experience, consider joining us today. A link can be found in the video description. 